Hello y'all. Welcome to what is going to be part one of my Rene Gunan Morocco playthrough and the Hearts of Iron 4 mod Kaiser Redux. Kaiser Redux is an unofficial standalone expansion for the Kaiserreich mod. Kaiserreich itself takes place in a world where the Central Powers won World War I. We have started, and just to take a quick look at Morocco's situation at the start, we have no national spirits. We're an autonomous puppet. I think we're a puppet of Germany. Let me check. Yes, we are a puppet of the German Empire. And we have two divisions and an army. Any navy? Do we have a navy? A small navy. It's only like, what, five destroyers? And any air force? No air force. Let's do some stuff in our research tree. We have two research slots. Let's actually go for the basic machine tools and construction one because those are very important and we have some unassigned divisions those two divisions are going to go up to say Suta up here the rift go up to the rift and go watch that area real quick and we do have a focus tree and in that focus tree well unique focus tree we're going to do let's do the time a time of troubles let's also start recruiting some divisions some militia divisions will be good I don't know how many factories we have. Let me check there. We have two military factories, so I think militia would be suitable for us for now. But anyway, let's go border the, border the rift, and we're just going to unpause here. We're not going to read anything. We're just going to rock it through. we got to get to just put our foot on the gas. we got to get to March 1936, because that's when the event we want to happen happens. Rene Gunan and his friends will try to take over the government, basically. President Kerensky of Russia has been assassinated. Okay, everything's going on as normal. And the Kaiserreich universe, Kaiser Redux, Kaiserreich universe, whatever, slash, all that. And, yeah. So we're just waiting until the end of March to have the things we want to happen happen. And the German Navy seems to be moving around a lot. And the 1936 Riga Winter Olympics have taken place. And we're just watching the German Navy move around, it seems. And a lot of divisions of the, what is this, the German faction, Reichspakt, border border the French commune who just seems to be probably concerned with the fact there's a huge amount of soldiers on their borders the totalist charter was created in the Union of Britain I believe and Edward the eighth is crowned as King of Great Britain I think he died yeah George V died now his son is in power in Canada and it's almost the end of January we have to get through February and we have to get next through get through March and how are our division is doing. We have two divisions almost ready. They're still struggling with equipment, but they'll have to be deployed anyway, probably, because we're going to maybe be in a war. Afghanistan declared war on the Dominion of Delhi, and the Great Berlin stock market the Great Berlin stock market crash has occurred. Black Monday, all that fun stuff. The Fourth Anglo-Afghan War. We might be affected by Black Monday, maybe not. Electoral gridlock in France, that's going on. And at this time, it's like the second week of February in 1936. I wonder if Afghanistan will beat the Entente faction. There's a possibility. Poland declares the Republic. I wonder what faction they're going to try and join later. If they try to do that at all. Guess we'll see. But Afghanistan may have a chance here. In Kaiser Redux, I think they're a lot more powerful than they say are in Kaiserreich. So, we'll see how that pans out, I guess. The League of Eight Provinces declares war on the left Cuban Tang. That's some fighting going on in China between all the warlords. That's going down. And it's now 21st of February. February is nearly over. We have only a month left almost. We gotta get to March 31st for the event we want to happen. And we just gotta wait. A time of troubles focus is done. We did that for the political power. Now let's complete maybe, let's complete, let's look for something here. Let's do, let's do development plan for the national spirit. If we can get it in time. It's now March 1936 and that focus will be done in 56 days. So there's a chance we may not even get it done. Let's adjust our economy here, maybe, or no. Conscription law, let's do limited conscription, because that'd be nice to have more manpower available for the army of Morocco. And some German divisions from Asia are moving around, it seems. Gallo seizes control of Ecuador. That's going on. Restoration of democracy in Australasia. And Qin declared war in the Shun King. Twing, Twing, I don't know those names. I can't pronounce them right. And Pius... Pius XI has died, that's the Pope, and it's now March 13th. Well, it's going by fast, the days are. If we have a militia division ready, send them to the Rift with the rest of the Moroccan military. We should have a few more divisions ready pretty soon, and once they're ready to go, you'll see why we have them 
bordering the rift soon in the near future, hopefully. And it's now March 20th. Well, we're getting to the end of March very fast here, and that's good because they're just rushing through everything, honestly. And that's what we want to happen. How is Afghanistan doing? I think they're winning, or yeah, they are winning, it appears. Yeah, they are. Well, they were. They're not really winning. Okay, yeah, they're pretty much, I don't know. They're doing better than I thought they were, thought they would do. And so we have another militia division available for Morocco. And that's four divisions in our army now. Okay, we have a huge event here. I'm going to have to read this because it is important. Islamic extremists attempt a coup in the capital. Rene Gonon, noted Arthur, author, philosopher, Muslim influenced traditionalist, and esoteric scholar, fled the Casablanca as the decadent French Empire collapsed under the fires of revolutionary action. Finding refuge in the Kaiser's Morocco, Gonon continued his ideological and philosophical development, with the French Revolution rising to become the catalyst of his final metamorphosis. Watching France be consumed by the foul, well, he doesn't like cynicism, cynicalism basically, that system of beliefs, of ideology and all that stuff. Anyway, Gunay's, Gunan's beliefs that the Muslim faith would be the salvation of France was galvanized, paving the way for his current beliefs. Now as chaos and uncertainty consumes the Algiers regime in the wake of international aggression and the Patain coup, Gunan has come to find himself with zealous and rapidly growing with a zealous and rapidly growing support base, mainly a mix of mainly a mix of Muslim natives desperate for salvation and disillusioned French nationals growing tired of the government in Algiers. With the backing of these pious patriots and fanatics, Gunan and his former radical supporters hope to launch what he calls the Re Reconquista, Reconquista 2.0, basically, the complete and total reclamation and Islamization of France under Gunan's stalwart and wise leadership. With the German administration in Morocco far too busy with the tremors of Black Monday and acts of aggression from the French, there was little in the way of anyone coalesced and organized enough to block Gunan's aspirations. With rumors circulating that Gunan and his forces are preparing to coup the German-backed monarchy, it would seem that the future of Morocco precariously dangles in the balance. And we're going to just go ahead and say in this decision here, well, for this event, we'll say Gunan and his fanatics, Gunan and his fanatics seized control, proclaiming a new Islamic French government in the kingdom, um, well, in Morocco. That's going to be done, and now we're the esoteric realm of the true France. And just so we know, for the record, historically, René Gunan was a French philosopher and intellectual known for his influence in metaphysics, and he was very big into how to say... Islamic esotericism and he has a description here he is of the national populist ideology and the esoteric esoteric nationalism how to say sub ideology he has a description here let's read that real quick how could one describe Rene Gonan French philosopher author and thinker who developed numerous ideas such as the primordial, primordial tradition metaphysical realization and the universal meaning of symbolism the unity and uniqueness of metaphys metaphysics the initiation to the sacred science, the criticism of modernity from the point of view of the ancient traditions, or the reconstruction of Western er esotericism based on the still living Oriental spirituality, spirituality, as well as the Muslim religion. There's a lot of stuff there, pretty abstract ideas, so just beware of that. After the defeat of France in the Velt Creek, World War I in this universe, Gunan, also known by his Muslim name, Shak Abdel Wahid Yaha Yayi, whatever, he went into exile in Morocco where he met the Moroccan king, a pawn of the Germans, and he tried to explain to him his ideas and the need for a re reconquista by the Muslim forces in order to save tradition and whole human civilization. These ideas were rejected, and René moved to the outskirts of the capital to continue his work. However, in an unknown way, in an unknown way, Gunan succeeded in taking power with a horde of fanatics loyal to him and his ideas proclaiming a true France, will quote, true France, modeled after his wishes. Some believe that Gonan has allied himself with dark forces beyond the scope of reality, or even God himself. Transcending reason and ideologies, nothing seems to be able to stop the mad philosopher now as his ambitions continue to grow. And Rene Gonan, I will say, the his party it controls all the ideologies in Morocco at this point. He is the Totalist Party, and he's also, well, the Gunan clique is also, it's the Totalist Party, it's the Social Liberal Party, and it's the Nationalist Populist Party in this version of Morocco, just to give you an idea. And so we have a new focus tree now, 
We're going to do Renee in power. That says Renee Guinan and his clique of fanatics have taken power in a spectacular way and now do everything in their power to save humanity. And from this, we'll get 1886 political power. I wonder if that's when Rene Gunan was born. Rene Gunan will become a field marshal and will have every state claim gained by the esoteric realm of the true France. So we're going to try and take over the world, probably. And the popularity of national populism will go up once that focus is done. And what else I need to talk about here? Rene Gunan, I said what he, what he did in real life. I'm trying to think of something real quick. Okay, so Rene Gunan in Kaiser Redux. Usually, he doesn't really come to power if Morocco's played by an AI, because they will get that event. We saw that let Rene Gunan rise to power. The thing about that, though, is they will usually always crush his attempt to coup the government. But when you have a player in charge of Morocco, you can potentially have him take over and try to do a lot of crazy stuff, or try to take over the world, honestly. And this used to be part of the meme mode path, well, content in this mod, but it isn't anymore. It's just now a, an event that happens and the AI is not able to do it. We can modify our officer core. Republicans win the Greek refer win referendum, good for them. Military high command. What do we have here? I guess maybe, I don't know. Let's get a new spirit of the academy. Let's get perhaps, looking around here, let's get bold attack to get a 50% chance of attack plus one attack step when our generals level up. The first international congress takes place. Can we modify the officer core again? Yes, we can. Great. So maybe let's get air high. No, no, let's not get air high command just yet. Let's get navy, a navy command focus. Let's get anti-submarine. No, let's get. I don't know. I don't know what to do with that. I don't want to have to spend political power on that just yet. Renee and power is done. Now let's do the next focus. Attract. French settlers. The French people are undoubtedly one of the most noble, intelligent, and brave in the world, France being the home of many great thinkers such as Gunan himself. We should encourage as many French people as possible to join the true France. Their expertise and ability will be of great help in our just struggle. And from this we'll get a national spirit and a lot of army experience, navy experience, and some other stuff relating to ideologies. And that national spirit the new France will be very, very powerful. And the NRPR wins the Russian elections. Okay, that happened. We have some militia ready to go. We also have more manpower. Or no, never mind. And the Syndicalist Party won the Italian majority in the Socialist Republic of Italy. I think. I think that's what that event said. And what else can we do? Military staff. Let's get a chief of staff. Let's get maybe a school of mass combat. Malta secures independence. That happened, and Malta is going to be independent to do their own thing. And they have a focus. They have a focus tree, I think. Do they? Maybe they do. But anyway, we have a new thing we got to do here with our political power. Let's do maybe chief of the army. Let's complete possibly decisive battle doctrine to get more. Oh, we have tons of political power. What am I doing? I need to just pause and just go through all this. We got like that 886 political power earlier. Industrial concern, industrial capacity, industrial company, I mean, army high command, we have no, no, what is it, no command power for that. Let's get a, I don't know, get a open seas doctrine for the Navy and for the Air Force. Let's possibly get battlefield support doctrine, we'll do that. Military high command, all that stuff. Let's change our laws a little bit. Go to early mobilization, then go to... For export focus, actually don't change that. We have a free research slot. We still just have two. So let's do concentrated industry now. Research. Oh, we can get a bunch of designers for our stuff. Let's at least do that. Or no, let's get a military high command. Let's get maybe army logistics, an army logistics command focus done. And for our weapons manufacturer, manufacturer, generic arms, manufacturer, generic fighter manufacturer, Generic naval company, all these generic companies. Man, Generic Inc. must be making tons of money in this world. And free civilian factories. We have one free civilian factory. We only have one. Wow. Let's build a civilian factory in Casablanca. Pius XII is elected as a new pope. That happened in the... In the where? In the Italian the Italian Federation. That has taken place. And attract, attract French settlers will be done very soon. After that, we'll do reason over reality. And that will be started. So now let's do reason over reality. 
reason over reality. Its description says, the reason is the essence of humanity, and without it, we would be the only vulgar animal not better than a monkey. A long philosophical debate took place between the primacy of reason or reality for our leader Gunan. Reason transcends and is objectively superior to reality. Only by reconciling, reconciling man to his reason, we can save the world. And despite all the stuff this focus says, what it, well, what it basically does is, despite all those words, we'll get some military factories, civilian factories, and naval dockyards, and the market liberalism, national populist, and radical socialist parties of the esoteric realm of the true France will lose popularity as well once that focus is complete. And I think I'm going to end part one of my Rene Gounon Morocco playthrough in Kaiser Redux here. You can check out Kaiser Redux in the video description. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Have an awesome day.